Today I'm going to teach you the Ohm's Law Lab. When we talk about Ohm's Law, we actually talk about the study of three people. So now, now we're going to put together the, the study of three people in electric circuit. Just like you see over here, this is an electric circuit. I have the battery was invented by Alessandro Volta. I have the current current flow in the wire from positive terminal to the negative terminal was discovered by Ampere 1820 and finally I have the resistance inside the resistor sitting in the bulb was discovered by Ohm. Now let's draw these first over here. This is a closed circuit. Now we have to put the battery. Few things we're gonna put. Battery this is positive, this is negative. So the current flow from positive terminal to the negative terminal. So this is how current flow clockwise direction from positive terminal to negative terminal. Draw the light bulb in a traditional way, zigzag line, and we call it a resistor. And battery provides a voltage. And there is a SI unit for the voltage, and that is volt. And this was invented by Volta, 1799. The current, this is the current, this is the symbol for current. The SI unit for current is amps. Current was discovered by Ampere, as I said. And then a resistor, a resistor provide resistance. The SI unit for resistance is ohm and resistance discovered by, of course, ohm. So a meter read the current. Because voltmeter measure the voltage. So you're gonna turn it to an equation. So equation would be Ohm's law. V, I, and R. This is a triangular relationship. This is a triangle. All right. So voltage right here, current right here, and the resistance right here. If you want to find the voltage, voltage is I times R. If you want to find the current, current is V over R. And if you find the resistance, resistance is V over I. So we turn the story to the circuit and then circuit to the equation. Now we're going to try to understand the relationship. If voltage increases then the current is increases as well. 2 voltage 1 amps, 1 amps, 4 voltage 2 amps, 6 voltage 3 amps. So the relationship is direct. And we even know the slope of this line. So the slope is delta y over delta x. What is our delta y? Well, voltage. What is our delta x? Well, current. So we see m is equal to delta v over, over i, voltage over current. Now, we're not going to call it m. All right, we're going to call it, we're going to give it a name. And Ohm, give it a name, 1827. The call is resistance. So then resistance is V over I. Let's check whether that is correct. Resistance is V over I. Okay. So now we're going to verify whether that is correct by the, by creating the circuit. We have over here the power pack coming from the battery. We have the voltmeter, we have the ammeter, and we have the light bulb. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have the battery, and then this one I'm gonna have the voltage, and this one I'm gonna have the current. So I'm gonna have the one battery, two battery, three battery, and four battery. What happened if I increase the battery? What happened to the brightness? What happened? I increased to the voltage. 
with the current all right and then you're gonna also find the resistance but not right now okay so one battery so one battery give us how much voltage about 2.10 so 2.10 and the current is 0.21 and now two battery so now we're gonna put two battery two battery 4.25 4.25 and and um, the current is 0.32 I'm gonna put three battery three battery and we see 6.3 and the current is 0.39 and finally four battery I keep checking the brightness of the the bulb four batteries we have 8.3 and uh, 0.43 so in this case, you have a constant resistance and resistance is two ohms. However, this one, if you plot it, this is the voltage and this is the current. So right here, first data is right here. And the second data is 4.25 4 and 3.2, the data is right here. And the third point is 6.3.39, 6.3.39, right here. And then 8.3, uh, 0.43 right here so you see that unlike this one you don't have just one constant okay why is that is that because when I was collecting data there was some human error involved due to my observation or due to the error involved with the even battery or the meter or the voltmeter or even with the resistor however how can we make it look like that or how we can make a perfection well it's very simple if we do it million times then how this would look like then we're gonna have a million data okay so then we're gonna have a million data so now i'm gonna take the best fit line and that would be the r and if the voltage increases then of course current should be the red increases thank you so much so 1.16 current is 0.15 now i'm going to increase the voltage from by double if i increase the voltage 2.63 i get 0.25 now I'm going to increase the voltage if I increase the voltage 3.86 what do I get I get about 0.37 finally I'm going to increase the voltage to 5.13 and I'm going to get 0.44 so now we're going to draw this relationship, let's see what happened, what I get. 